So Ram from his side offered his respects. He is doing Naralila. However, Valmiki responds. He says, I know exactly who you are. You are the supreme master of all creation. You have descended for the pleasure of your devotees and for the protection of the devatas. And this lady, she is your yoga maya. And it is through her power that you do srishti sthiti pralay. She is the governor of that power, maya dhyakshena prakriti. This Lakshman is no other than Ananta Shesh himself. Valmiki ji openly says, Ram, you are God. Some people tell me, Swamiji, you keep mentioning God in your lectures. You don't take the name of God and then your lectures will become more popular. See? Why? Because it is unfashionable to talk about God nowadays. The so-called intellectuals, they don't want to hear this name. They talk about self-realization, but not about God-realization. You ask them, why is it so unfashionable? What is the problem with God? You know, we don't have proof of God. Karl Marx, he had said, I've got no problem believing in God. As long as I can put him in a laboratory and dissect him. However, first of all, how will you get a laboratory big enough for God? Because he is Brahma, bigger than the biggest. And if you manage to get such a laboratory, Karl Marx before the Lord will not even be as significant as a mosquito before the Himalayas. But his claim is that if I can dissect God, I will be willing to believe. You ask them, why don't you believe in God? They say, well, there is no proof. But you ask them, can you prove that there is no God? No, that we cannot prove. Then, you are also believing on blind faith. You can only prove there is no God if you know everything in creation. And that much, Mr. Atheist, Mr. Pseudo-intellectual, even you don't know so much. How can you claim that there is no God? Once I was giving a lecture in Bhuvaneshwar and an IAS officer was listening. He said, Swamiji, you believe in God? I said, yeah, I think so. These clothes seem to indicate. He said, I don't believe in God. I said, congratulations to you. What? You are not going to argue with me? I have got no interest. So then he would try to incite. He said that, why do you believe in God? I said, my choice, why do you not believe in God? He said, there is no proof. I have never seen God. I said, have you seen your father? Of course. Seen your father's father? Grandfather? Yes. Your grandfather's father? You know, when I was a four-year-old. Your grandfather's grandfather? I have not seen him. So if your theory is that you will only believe what you can see, then don't believe you have a grandfather's grandfather. This Pratyaksh Praman is so limited. If the head of a country says, only what I have seen I will believe, how will he administer such a huge area? Beyond that is Anuman Praman, beyond that is Shabda Praman. But nevertheless, Mr. Scientist, you say that there is no God and you are believing without any proof. Can you please tell me how this world got created? <coughs> so we have all heard it's taught in schools and colleges. <coughs> There was a big dhamaka. <laughs> One gas ka gola was there. It exploded and scattered and cooled down and this world got created. <clears throat> so how did life get created? Scientists will tell you, you know, 
there was first this unicellular creature called amoeba and it evolved 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 until it became a monkey and then that monkey further evolved and became a human in other words the tail started reducing 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 and finally it finished so i i say okay which gotra are you from uh, swami ji i am from vishwamitra gotra i am from vasish gotra according to darwin we are all from bandar gotra <coughs> look again people say swami ji look your whole lecture is very good but when you start you know giving a critique of the theory of evolution then we think you don't have any head how can you ever say something like that well look just use plain and simple common sense this amoeba did not have eyes correct yes from creatures that did not have eyes how did creatures with eyes evolve <laughs> you know darwin said random mutation okay random mutation means there was a random mutation by chance but it turned out to be more stable again there was a random mutation it turned out to be really stable and by this process the change took place but think a little more deeply from creatures without the eyes to creatures with the eyes is it a single step random mutation the eye has got millions trillions of parts until they all come together they can't function as the eye <laughs> so all the steps in between cannot work as the eye they were not stable mutations why did they survive from sheer probability the chance of a creature without the eye to evolve to a creature with the eye is 1 upon trillions merely on the basis of common sense you'll have to say well even if there was an evolution there was somebody guiding it and this theory that <coughs> apes evolved into humans prove it mr scientist how will you prove it the fossil record must illustrate the fossil record on the crust of the earth must show look from here these 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 fossils that missing link has still not been found 50 years ago there were claims australopithecus pithecanthropus erectus zinjanthropus erectus piltdown man peking man java man these seven missing links slowly scientists realize each was a fake claim each of them now recently they found lucy and they said this is the missing link it is again hypothetical let's say you can't find the missing link between ape and human what about the other 8.4 million species the fossil record on the planet earth does not validate the theory of evolution so if there was a big bang and this got created tell me how did the corona virus get created have you ever seen an image of this virus you know how complex is it did it get created by a bang go and do a little research the scientists will say we have got no idea how viruses originally got created okay mr scientist do you know how a single cell originally got created from atoms and molecules check it up they'll say we do not know science is also based on hypothesis and the belief in god explains it all so god is he who has created this world now if there is a spiritual theory that is not even referring to god what an incomplete theory and why give it any importance we are not just interested in feeling good we want something that is related to the absolute truth and if there is no god in picture that is not the absolute truth 
So Maharshi Valmiki explains very clearly, Maharaj, you are God. Maharshi Patanjali in the Yoga Sutra says, Ishwara Pranidhanat. Success in yoga will come by surrendering to the Lord. Now we have in our Ram Katha, Valmiki and Ram, Nar and Narayan. What is the discussion that will take place between them? We shall relish this in the lectures to come.